past week, SCTV has received numerous threatening communiques from a group calling itself the Lutonian Liberation Front. This group claims to champion the struggle for Lutonian freedom all over the world. On Monday, I received the following message. Hire Lutonians or you'll get hurt. Then on Tuesday, this note arrived. We can no longer tolerate the presence of Mo Green on TV. Get rid of him or we'll make so much trouble for you it won't even be funny. <laughs> On Thursday, a telegram arrived, collect, which I refused to pay for. And then yesterday, I received this note tied to a rock, which was thrown through my dog. And it reads, we warned you, Mo. Now you're in trouble. You've been in, in ignoring Lutonians long enough. You're really in for it now. Well, I'm not going to get off television. I won't. And the management of the station is behind me 100%. They've allowed me to stay on the air at a reduced salary. <laughs> I pay my own insurance premiums. As for hiring more Lutonians, good point. We're taking definite steps to increase the number of Lutonian employees to three by the end of the current century. So that's it, Lutonian Liberation Front. Like it or lump it, Mo Green will not be cowed. Good evening, I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is the SCTV News. Tonight's top stories, another outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. Downtown Plattsburgh gets a facelift. No, no, Earl, uh, you had the Mo Green item. Sorry. Mo oh, Green. Mo Green, yes. I completely forgot, sorry. SCTV personality Mo Green kidnapped early this morning at his Encino basement apartment. More on that story coming up. An audience of 400 people succumbed to nausea, chills, and fever yesterday at Lake Tahoe Resort immediately after Hawaiian superstar Don Ho took the stage. Resort manager Andy Alexander claimed the dreaded Legionnaire's disease must have been brought into the famed Andy's hideaway by one or more of the patrons. However, most of the hospitalized customers denied it was Legionnaire's disease, blaming the food for the chills and fever and Don Ho for the nausea. Well, sandblasting and garbage shoveling were the order of the day in downtown Plattsburgh today, as that city underwent a much-needed cleanup program. Piles of maggot-ridden food were swept curbside on most streets, and Mayor Lester Henry led residents in a giant hose-down. Plattsburgh City Council maintains this is only the first step. They want to establish a permanent city dump and a streets and sanitation department. And Floyd, that's the news. That's not the news. The kidnapping. Sorry? Mo Green. I don't understand. Give me that. Oh, I'm just sorry. SCTV personality and former station manager Mo Green was abducted from his Encino home this morning. It was revealed only a few moments ago that a group called Leftists for Lutonia was responsible for the kidnapping, calling Green a bigot and blaming Green's program hiring policy as their co celeb. Green had refused to hire Lutonians on SCTV, citing mental deficiency as his primary reason. The kidnappers are demanding $2,000 ransom for Green's release. Now, Earl, uh, you have an editorial, unless you forgot that, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Floyd. I keep forgetting that item. It just slips my mind. I'm sorry. Okay. Kidnapping. It's still with us. But the bizarre thing about Mo Green's kidnapping is, in a way, it's like a breath of fresh air. Most kidnappings in the past have dealt with wealthy Italian industrialists or prominent politicians. But to abduct someone as insignificant as Mo Green seems to me to be a step in the right direction. Maybe leftists for Lutonia have set a precedent. Kidnap the people who don't mean much in this world, whose worth and contribution to society are almost negligible. It helps take the strain and worry off us, the general public. Floyd. And that's the news. Here is an SCTV News Bulletin. I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is a special SCTV News Report. 
Pictures and a tape-recorded message from Mo Green, kidnapped earlier today by the Lutonian Liberation Front, were sent to these reporters only moments ago following the long-awaited announcement that SCTV would not pay the excessive $2,000 ransom demanded for Green's release. Here is an excerpt from that tape now. Am I on? Ow! Uh, this is Mo Green. After only a few short hours in captivity, I have come to recognize the importance of the Lutonian struggle for freedom. Ow! Ooh, ow! Excuse me, freedom! Now I am joining the struggle against the imperialist, capitalist, televisionist policies of SCTV. My, my new comrades have given me a new name to symbolize my conversion. Instead of Mo Green, I am now called Bruce Feinstein. I'm going underground for a while, but I'll be back. Look for me wherever someone is cringing with fear. I'll be there. Wherever someone is blaming other people for his mistakes, I'll be there. Wherever someone is sucking up to those in power, I'll be there. But until then, I hope someone will check to see if I turned off all the gas and lights in my apartment before I left. Ow! Well, uh, Earl, what do you make of it? Uh, sound like he was brainwashed to me. Do you think he's become some kind of dupe or stooge? Well, you know, Moe's always been kind of a dupe and a stooge, uh, Floyd. You know, the thing that gets my goat is, uh, sure, we've all called Moe a penny-pinching weasel and uh, alluded at some time or another to uh, his... Sliminess? Sliminess, exactly. But, uh, you know, if the truth were known, I'm, I'm going to miss that jellyfish. Well, then you think the station should have paid the $2,000 ransom? No, 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 no. Let's not get carried away, Floyd. Uh, I think the station's decision not to pay the ransom was the right decision. I'm just, um, just reflecting, I guess. You know, I, I never really got to know Mo Green. If I remember, Floyd, you really didn't want to. No, I didn't. No. I still don't. Hmm. Just reflecting, too, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, for SCTV News, good night.